now we can formally define the epsilon n of a as usual it, it is a phi tuple component where q is a finite set of states sigma is a finite set of symbols delta is the transition and q naught is the starting state and f is a finite set of accepting state or the final states and the transition function we will define now across q and sigma union epsilon and remember that epsilon is not a member of sigma and we define the transition for the Cartesian product between the set of states and sigma union epsilon and the range is the power set of q and for this machine we have five states from q0 to q4 this is the set of states which is q and then sigma will include plus minus dot and symbols from 0 to 9 and see that epsilon is not a member of sigma and the starting state is q0 and the final state is q2 here we have only one final state but it is not necessary that we have to restrict the final state to be only one state it is a finite set of final states or the accepting states and then we have the delta which is given here from q0 upon epsilon we go to q1 and for plus and minus we go to q1 we are making these two symbols together in the same column because the behavior of the machine is the same for these two symbols and from q0 i cannot accept the decimal point so it is null we haven't de defined this transition this is one more non-determinism that we have and for 0 to 9 the automata will behave the same so we have these symbols in the same column so here also for q0 we haven't defined the transition so it is null string from q1 we don't have any input on the epsilon so it is null and from q1 i don't have any input for this uh, sign so it is also empty and if we get a dot we go to q4 and then from q1 if we get a symbol either i stay at q1 or we go to q3 so that is what is given so this is one more non-determinism that we have so these are the non-determinism that we have in this machine one is including the transition on null string because without even accepting any input we can be in more than one state okay in the beginning either i can be in q0 or without accepting anything i can be at q1 so this is one non-determinism that we have the other non-determinism is the a null transition so we haven't defined the transition for all the symbols for uh, all the states and for a particular state and a, for a particular symbol we can move to more than one state so these are the three non-determinism involved in this epsilon nfa and from q3 we don't have transition for epsilon and the sign from q3 if we get a dot we go, go to q2 and from q3 we don't accept the digits as well so it is empty and from q4 we accept only the digit so all the three inputs epsilon plus or minus symbols and dot will not have any transition and from q4 upon the input of any of the decimal digit we go to q2 and q2 is the final state from q2 we have transition only for digits 
to the same state using the self loop okay so we have q2 here